So, uh, here we are today, we're going to talk about uh, installing a nucleus colony. Uh, beekeepers purchase these to replace uh, losses that they've had over the winter, or new beekeepers uh, purchase them to establish their very first colonies. Uh, when a, a nuke is made up by a beekeeper, they make it up by putting two frames of capped brood inside this well-ventilated box with the bees that are adhering to those frames. They put a frame of honey and pollen in there with the bees adhering. And then they put one empty frame. It may be a drawn comb or it may be foundation to give the bees something to work on, a little extra space to hang out. Uh, prior to filling up the entire box with uh, these frames, they'll shake in one, two, or three more frames of bees to add additional bees to the nukes. The number of frames they shake in will depend on how warm it is and how many bees are inside the hive. So for example, if a nuke was made up first thing in the morning, there would be more bees present and you wouldn't need to shake as many in. But you need to have lots of bees in the nuke so that there's enough, there are enough, a large enough population there to maintain the temperatures in the evening when it's cooler. Uh, so that's how the nuke is made up. It will have uh, uh, a queen in it. In most cases, that's a queen that's on her loose, or on the loose. Uh, moving around and laying eggs inside the colony. Occasionally the queens are sold uh, caged inside the nucleus colony. My preference is to have the uh, free roaming queen in there with the nucleus colony. So what we've done in this case is we've uh, set this nuke up here the evening before just at dusk and then we've opened up this entrance down here so that the bees can come and go as they wish. But if we do this in the evening, they don't fly that night. First thing in the morning, they come out and they do circular orientation flights, coming and going from the hive. And uh, that way they orient to this new location. If it's you have one beehive uh, in your uh, new apiary, that's not as significant because they will definitely find their way back to one beehive. But if you have multiple hives like this, uh, the bees can very easily get disoriented and f uh, go into the wrong colony because they don't know where home is yet. So I like that gradual uh, transition into the new location. Uh, it, uh, the alternative is to move the nuke out and set it up right in the middle of the daytime, open it up and install it. Uh, but my preference is to do it in two stages where you let them fly uh, early in the morning by opening them up the evening before. So now here we are in the middle of the day and we're ready to install these nucleus, this nucleus colony into an empty beehive. So what we'll do is we'll just shift the nuke over here and then we'll open up this beehive and see how it's prepared. The nuke has uh, four frames of bees and we have a box that's made for 10 frames, so there's six extra frames in here. I like to have one honey and pot, preferably pollen as well frame inside the hive, so to make sure the bees have enough to eat. And then we uh, have other frames in here that have uh, drawn comb on them. Uh, if for new beekeepers, that may be it may be that you're dealing with foundation frames, brand new frames, uh, but they will work on it. Uh, it just takes them a little bit longer when it's foundation frames. So we're going to have uh, two frames taken out to give us lots of space here to install the nucleus colony. So I'll puff a little bit of smoke at the entrance to the colony and a little bit in the vent holes at either end. I should mention that uh, if you are purchasing a nucleus colony from a beekeeper, uh, keep it in a cool, preferably dark location until you set it out uh, in the bee yard. They can perish because of overheating, so you'd want to keep them in a cool location. Often a garage is a good spot for that. Then we will open up the nucleus colony, and you can see there's lots of bees in there. We'll give them a little bit of smoke. Because we're doing this in the middle of the day at after they've already oriented here, they're quite calm and they're not just trying to burst out of the, uh, the hive. As we take, we'll start from the outside, as we take 
each frame out, we're going to look to find the queen. So there you see the honey and pollen frame. With lots of adhering bees. I don't see the queen. We'll put that in and we're going to keep these frames in the same uh, location relative to each other as we install them in the, the larger colony. So there you see a nice frame of capped brood. It's preferable to have capped brood in a nucleus colony because they hatch out and the, the colony bursts in population. Young brood it would take longer for that uh, to increase the population. So it's a nice solid frame of cap brood. Uh, no queen as yet. We're being very careful to take these frames out that we don't bump them against each other. And we're looking for the queen here. Don't see her there. This is the other brood frame. Okay, there's our queen. See that? What I'm going to do now is install this frame with the queen towards me and then just gradually move that frame over and snug it up. That'll keep her nice and safe for when we're installing the other frames. And we move the last frame over. It's uh, basically an empty frame. There's a little bit of nectar. They, they'll move honey around from uh, place to place. This was empty when it was made up. When the nuke was made up yesterday, but they're, they have little bits of nectar here and there, or honey that they've moved around. So there we go, we install that. Now we can put our remaining two frames in, and I'm going to put this honey frame right next to where the bees are, the honey and pollen frame. And then the last frame, which is a foundation frame, will go in. And then we orient the frames so that they are nice and evenly spaced. And we'll puff a little bit of smoke. You get some of those bees moving down there. And then we will Lay the tarp down, wiggle it around a bit to let the bees get out of the way. And put the lid on the colony. There are a few bees left in the box. We have seen that the queen is already in, so we're safe to just shake those out on the ground. If we haven't seen the queen, what I would do is lay it on top of the hive so that she can walk down and into the hive. We've already found her, so we're going to tap that out there, and we're done. Uh, these have a, a new home, a little bit more space to work in. Uh, they will grow and expand, and uh, within a couple weeks, we'll likely need to add a honey super to that colony because they do take off and, uh, and, move, and grow in population pretty quickly. So that's all there is to it. It's really just a matter of transferring the frames into the uh, uh, the new hive and uh, welcoming them to their new home. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.